video. This is a collab with one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers, Sarah from Not Your Typical Doll Face, who I also call my sweet sissy. Um, most of you guys have probably already subscribed to her channel because I do talk about her all the time. But we have decided to share with you our top five foundation picks. Now, she's recently gotten kind of reintroduced to a bunch of new foundations and had this whole newfound love for foundations and been on this whole foundation kick. So we thought it'd be fun to share this with you guys. Um, she has exquisite, exquisite taste in makeup, so I know she has some really, really amazing picks to share with you guys. So I'll link her channel link as well as her video link down below. Please go make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. But I'm going to jump in and share with you my top five picks. So I think what's the best thing about doing this type of video in a collab is that Sarah and I both have different types of skin tone, textures, um, so there's going to be a wide variety of foundations for all different skin, all different types of skin. Um, I'm going to start off with my drugstore foundations first. Now I did pick two of them and the reason why I chose a couple drugstore picks to share with you guys is because I understand that not everybody has a budget for high-end foundations and there are some really good alternatives in the drugstore that do have really good quality foundations. So I'm going to start off with those first, but before I do, I just want to mention my skin type. I have very fair skin, as you guys can probably tell, and my skin is very dry and dehydrated. I do also have eczema, so from time to time I will get flare-ups and patches of dry skin because of my eczema. So I'm going to start off with the drugstore foundations first, and the first one that I have to share with you guys is actually an all-time favorite foundation of mine. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation, and I am in the shade Classic Ivory. I really love this foundation. Um, it's a very neutral tone shade, so it's not too yellow, but it's not too pink either. It's like right in the middle, which I think works best with my skin, my skin tone overall. So the cool thing about this foundation is that it has a lasting power of a primer, or like a primer kind of built in to it. So first and foremost, you don't necessarily have to have that added step of applying a primer before wearing your makeup, and you're going to get really, really good longevity out of this foundation. This does say that it has an all-day flawless coverage. I do say that the, that the wear on this is a good six to eight hours if you pair it with a primer underneath. If not, you're going to get a good four to six hours, which is still pretty good, especially for a drugstore foundation. I believe this retails for about like nine, nine to ten dollars, maybe twelve. Um, I'll leave all that information down below on all the prices of these different foundations, um, but I do believe it's fairly inexpensive for a drugstore foundation. I have worn this with and without primer, and for me, I still like it with a primer a little bit better because I think it lasts just a little bit longer, and it's also easier to blend. This is a more medium to full coverage, more on the full coverage side, so it is a much thicker thicker consistency, and I find with a, having a primer on it, it is nicer to blend out. Um, yeah, it does say that it has the coverage of a concealer, which I will say it is very full coverage, um, and it does say that it blends blends nicely, which I find it blends a little bit nicer with a primer, like I said, and then it is shine-free and oil-free. There is an SPF of 20 in this, so you're going to get really good um, benefits out of that, and it be sun be protected from the sun. Um, and it also comes with a really nice pump, so I always love foundations that have a really nice pump on it. This is one of my favorites. The next drugstore foundation I have to share with you guys is the Revlon Color Save 24 Hours, and this is in the normal to dry skin formula. I know they have one for, like, combination to oily. It's basically the same thing, just form formulated a little bit differently for that skin type, um, but I have dry skin, so that's obviously why I would have this one. I'm in the shade Ivory, which is a very neutral, um, light shade. It's not too peach, but it's not too yellow either, so it works perfect for my skin tone. Um, the really great thing about this is that it does not oxidize. It stays very true to color all day long, doesn't turn yellow, yellowy, or orangey, or pinky throughout the day stays very true to color. Um, this is a very, very long wearing foundation. I actually wore this on my wedding day for like 12 hours and my skin and the foundation pretty much stayed put. I still had blush and bronzer, which is one way that you can kind of test to see if your foundation has worn throughout the day is if you still have, you know, your blush, bronzer, highlight in places where they're supposed to be. Um, and that was there on my wedding day. So this is a really great long wearing full coverage foundation. Um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's like 
10 12 dollars in the drugstore i don't know like i said before i'll leave all the information down on all these foundations the price is down in that description box so you guys can check it there but i absolutely love this i need to pull this out and wear it more um, this is just one of those foundations that's really, really thick and very long wearing, and I don't reach for it all the time. I wear it on those days when I know I'm going to be wearing my makeup for a long, long time, and I need something that's going to last me. This is what I reach for. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I think the one thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump. So, as you guys can tell, it does get very gunky. I know you can buy like air pumps from Amazon, so I think I'm going to end up purchasing an air pump for this because this is one of my favorite foundations. So there are dogs barking outside, excuse that, but I'm going to move on to my high-end foundation picks. Um, this first one I actually have an entire review on, so I'll link it down below. So I won't be going into too much detail about it, but I will tell you guys what I love about it. Um, this is the Deep Sea Hydrating Complex Liquid Mineral Foundation. Now, that is quite a title, um, but this is from the brand Youngblood, and as you guys can tell, this is just a deluxe travel size that I have. I, I own about five or six of these now. Um, the reason why I haven't purchased the full size of this is because it's quite an expensive product. This retails for, I think, $60. Last time I checked, I believe it was $60. I'll link it down below, like I said before, but um, I love this foundation. Now, Youngblood is uh, located in Simi Valley, California, which is where my husband's actually originally from. That's kind of how I got into the brand Youngblood. All of my friends that live out there wear the Youngblood products the young blood mineral mineral products and as you guys know mineral products are really great for the skin so it has a lot of added benefits um to that as well uh but yeah my best friend actually stocked up on like five or six of them for me so i didn't have to actually go out and purchase a full size and i still have two or three in my collection so as soon as those run out i'm gonna have to purchase a full size because i adore this foundation it's one of my holy grail absolute favorites and the number one reason why I love this so much is because this is the longest wearing foundation I have ever come across in my entire life so I have worked outside in and in, in the yard done yard work in this in the middle of summertime when it's like 107 degrees outside and sweated my butt off and this foundation did not budge I kid you guys not it did not budge did not break apart um, this is a little bit more of a dewy finish, which I happen to really, really like. I'm in the shade Shell, which I believe is the second, the first or second uh, lightest shade. I think it's the second. And this is actually, honestly, a little bit too dark for me, so I like wearing this more in the summertime when I have a little bit more of a tan, when my skin tone's a little bit darker. Um, and I like wearing this in the summertime, too, because it's a more dewy foundation, and it's very lightweight. It's very lightweight, but it just gives your skin the most beautiful, flawless glow, and it just blends into the skin seamlessly. I, I really don't know how else to describe it. It's just like, it's like a second skin on, on top of your skin, but it's like, it's like a better skin. I, I would describe it as like, kind of like a your lips, but better, but in a foundation, if that makes sense. So it's like a your face, but better. I don't know. I just absolutely love this stuff. There's something magical about it and it's lasts, it lasts so amazingly. So if you guys are interested in an in even more in-depth review or like a full review on that, go check out that video. I have it linked down below, but I absolutely, absolutely love this. Recommend it, especially if you like lightweight kind of dewy foundations, ones that are going to last you a lifetime on your face. This is the one for you. You guys, I just had lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> this is going to be such a fun video. <laughs> Okay, so my next product is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which you guys have heard me rave about. This is a very, very loved foundation in my collection. So loved that the bottle's actually falling apart on me. Um, but you guys have heard me talk about this time and time and time again. I actually have a whole foundation, uh, everyday foundation routine on this, so I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. But this is a really, really nice, weightless flawless coverage foundation very lightweight on the skin goes on almost like another second skin or your skin but better I like to call it <laughs> um, and it's really really liquidy which I actually really really like not in every foundation but I find works really really nicely with this one because it is a lightweight foundation but the fact that it is so liquidy it blends out seamlessly and you can really build this up to a more medium 
not necessarily full coverage, but to a more medium coverage. Now, because this is lightweight, you do have to wear a concealer with it if you have blemishes or scars. I suffer from a couple scars on my face, so I do always pair this with some type of um, con kind of a thicker concealer to um, conceal those those blemishes. But I do love this. I think it has one of the best coverages, like flawless looking coverages out of the foundations that I own. I honestly do think this foundation will work with any skin type. I've seen people use this that have oily skin and love it. I've seen people who have it have combination and love it. And, you know, I have dry skin and I absolutely love it. So I think this is a great overall foundation for everyone. Um, especially just the fact that it's very natural looking and going to give you that really nice flawless coverage. So I really, really love this. You guys know, holy grail status. Definitely one of my favorites. And for being a high-end foundation, it's not that expensive. I believe it's like $39, $30, 30 to $40. I don't exactly remember the price because it's been so long since I purchased it. Um, but I definitely will be repurchasing a new one when I, when I use this up because I love this stuff. My next foundation pick for you guys is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. Now this does have an SPF of 15, so it's going to be great to wear during the day and have some added sun protection. This is a very, very liquidy foundation, even more so than the Urban Decay one. Now normally I don't really like super liquidy foundations, I like them to have a little bit thicker of a texture, but for some reason with these two foundations it seems to just work. Um, because it's so liquidy, it's very lightweight on the skin. And it's also very, very buildable. So you could even have a lightweight to a medium coverage with this. Uh, it is called the Skin Foundation, so it is going to go on your skin like a second skin and just look absolutely flawless. Very, very natural looking. It is more of a dewy finish, which I personally tend to like because I do have dry skin. And I think especially for the winter time, this is one of those foundations that is a must, must have. Because it's going to give some added hydration, hydration and glow back into your skin and your skin's not going to look so dull and dry and dehydrated. So I'm in the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade you can get out of this foundation. Um, and it, it's a very neutral tone, so it's not too yellow, not too pinky, just right in the middle, which is perfect for my skin tone again, like I said before. Um, and this foundation is really, really long wearing. It's one of those no fuss foundations. So on days when I just need a quick makeup makeup application, I will reach for this. Also on those days when I need something that I know is going to last me and I'm going to be wearing makeup for a really long time, this is one of those foundations that I'll reach for because I know that it's going to last for a good six to eight hours without having to, to fix it up. Um, I just love this one. Very natural looking and I think it's definitely one of the top foundations out there. So those were my current top five foundations. I recently picked up a couple more that I just wanted to share with you because I haven't used them long enough to determine whether they're going to be holy grail status and staples in my makeup collection yet or not, but I've just been really, really enjoying them and I need to get, get some more use out of them before I can determine that, but I just wanted to share them with you just as runner-ups because... They're both ones that I've been really, really loving. Um, this first one is the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. This one has um, SPF in it. Now, I know that there's only like five or six shades of the, this, which really kind of sucks because, you know, it's not going to be available and work for everyone. But I've been really, really enjoying it. I have a, a review coming up on this, so I'm not going to talk too much in detail, but I do think this is a really, really amazing one. And then the second one, which you guys have probably seen me recently haul, is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Foundation. This is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Definitely very natural and leaves your skin just looking flawless. And this actually smells really, really, really good. I have it on my hand. Um, today and I just it just it just smells so good um, which is awesome I I don't have any other foundations that actually have a really good scent to them so I appreciate that all right guys so that is it for my foundation picks I'm gonna move on to my quote real quick because my camera is blinking at me it's about to die and this quote is a really good one so it says as you walk to the boundary of your understanding into the twilight of uncertainty exercising faith you will be led to find solutions you would not obtain otherwise. Now, I really love that. Once you really do find faith in something and you exercise it, you really do see blessings come into your life and things opened up to you, opportunities opened up to you that you may have not other, otherwise had. 
Um, I've seen this recently in my life with a few, a few things. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. Definitely make sure to check out Sarah's channel. I just, I just love that woman. Sarah, I love you so much. And I'm glad we are able to collab again. Um, definitely will not be the last collab with this girl because she's just one of my best, best friends. So I love you, Sarah, and you guys definitely go check out her channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.